Wildfires are natural events as old as the land itself. Every year, wildfires in the United States burn millions of acres of forests and grasslands. Today, thousands of people live in areas where these natural wildfires have historically shaped the landscape over the centuries. Problems arise when residents do not know how to live compatibly with wildfire in an area known as the Wildland Urban Interface. This particular structure was an L-shaped structure that came out to this open area in the front. Uh, behind it was the backdrop of the hill, uh, and it had the natural vegetation for the area. Unfortunately, it was too close to the house, uh, and it created an indefensible space for our crews to get in and protect the structure. The loss of homes amounts to a problem of national scale, but one that can be solved only at the local level. First of all, you have to get the citizens involved. It can't be agency driven. It has to, we have to have grassroots support from planners uh, in the planning community, from mayors, councilmen, neighborhood groups, and you have to get buy-in. For over 10 years, the National FireWise program has provided homeowners with the knowledge and techniques necessary to create an environment so their homes can survive a wildfire. FireWise is like a clearinghouse. They, they get all the good information, what's working, what's not working. And so that's where it's really been an advantage for us to participate in the program. In 2001, the Federal Register published a list of 11,000 communities determined to be at risk Yet the fire season occurs around the country at different times each year, making nearly all communities at risk to wildfire. One of the difficulties of the wildland urban interface is that it cannot be defined as a geographic location, but a set of conditions that can exist anywhere. But the good news, however, is that homes don't have to burn. The FireWise Communities USA program encourages homeowners to take the initiative in protecting themselves and their homes as they continue to enjoy the beauty of nature and the reasons they came to live in these areas around the country. The FireWise Communities USA recognition draws on a community spirit, its resolve, and its willingness to take responsibility for its ignition potential. It provides national recognition to homeowners by rewarding their efforts to protect their homes from wildfire. The community of Immigration Canyon is located in the northeastern portion of Salt Lake County, Utah. The vegetation in the canyon is predominantly gamble oak and sagebrush, with some riparian zones at the canyon bottom. While the vegetation and lay of the community would not support a crown fire, a wildfire in the canyon would create a significant amount of firebrands, a serious threat to interface homes and structures. Immigration Canyon is comprised of more than 400 dwelling units in an interesting mix of housing and residence. Canyon residents encouraged the Emigration Canyon Community Council to examine their wildfire risks and identify conditions that could be modified to increase their level of readiness. As a result, a public meeting was held in May of 2002 and attended by over 40 residents and fire professionals. The result was that the Immigration Canyon Council, along with four citizen volunteers, decided to serve as the Immigration Firewise Board. This was the organizational beginning of making Immigration Canyon a Firewise community. Following a visit by a Firewise Communities Assessment Team, the resulting recommendations and strategies were presented to the Immigration FireWise Board. Thinning of the Gambell Oak to decrease the fire risk and preserve aesthetic views. In areas that had been thinned and cleared, the team noticed that wildflowers were reappearing, a potential FireWise asset to many areas. Homeowners should work to create and maintain 30 feet of clearance around their residences. Dead and downed vegetation should be cleared from the riparian areas. The native species of dogwood, birch, chokeberry, and cottonwood should be encouraged. Flammable roofing should be replaced with non-combustible alternatives and continually educate citizens, volunteers, and professionals. 
Immigration Canyon Day was held in June of 2002 as an education effort to help residents better protect their properties. Families learned about vegetation, construction materials, and how to develop defensible space around their homes. Finally, educational efforts are ongoing in Immigration Canyon and include seminars, homeowner meetings, direct mailings, fire condition signs, and other visual notification of high fire danger. Homeowners realize that trees are part of the community values and that they must work to maintain their fire-wise readiness. Needles, leaves, and other dead materials must be continually removed from the decks, roofs, and walkways. Becoming fire-wise is a process, and like many processes, it is most effective when begun at the smallest scale. A participating FireWise Community USA need not be an incorporated jurisdiction. Any neighborhood, subdivision, or homeowner association may participate by reducing the threat of wildfire to their homes by charting their own course at their own pace. Becoming recognized as a FireWise Community USA begins when the homeowners recognize the wildfire threat and decide to accept and share the responsibility to make necessary changes. The following is a series of recognition standards to adopt when becoming a FireWise community. Enlist a wildland urban interface specialist to complete an assessment and create a plan that identifies locally agreed upon achievable solutions that the community can implement. Assessment is an inventory of the area in order to determine you know, how bad the fire hazard is, what areas that we need to treat, and, uh, and then after we do an assessment, then we have the ingredients to put together a plan. Sponsor a local FireWise task force, committee, commission, or department that maintains the FireWise community program and tracks its progress and status. Observe a FireWise Communities USA Day each spring that is dedicated to a local FireWise project. Invest a minimum of $2 annually per capita in local FireWise Communities USA efforts. Work by municipal employees or volunteers using municipal and other equipment can be included, as can state or federal grants dedicated to that purpose. Submit an annual report to FireWise Communities USA documenting continuing compliance with the program. Wildfires will happen, but homes can survive. Managing the wildland urban interface fire issue at home within a community is the key to creating a safer, more wildfire compatible America. If your community is interested in becoming FireWise, contact www.firewise.org/usa or your state forestry agency for more information.